hey what's up so i'm back with another video this one's been taking a while because i've had tests now that i have like a free schedule i'm way ahead of my homework you know i'm ahead of myself or whatnot i went to walmart i went on a hunt for these items the lady came up to me she's like can i help you with anything i was like i'm looking for this spray right here and these highlighters or whatnot and she was like well let me look up on my little she had like a little tool and she like typed in everything and she was like okay so we do have it coming in she's like but it will be it won't be up until another two weeks but if there's anything else you need you know i can help you now you know that's shocking as fuck because when you go to walmart you can't even find nobody at the cash register okay you so for me to find somebody in the aisle who's like willing to look this up and help me out i wish i would have got her name shout out to her because you never find nobody willing to help you at walmart not a damn person like i don't know where these people hide but that was the first time i've ever been helped in walmart and she was sweet about it and everything i ended up going to the other walmart that was another 20 minutes away from me the opposite way of town and just randomly i turned the aisle and immediately i saw all the highlighters and i was like i hit the jackpot and then i also picked up the prime light strobe bing primer i picked up the retouch concealer i got it in medium light the make it last setting spray prime correct and set and then i found the make it dewy the prep set and glow which i'm not gonna be using this item it just looks ashy so i'm just not gonna open it and then the prime shield mattifying primer which i'm not gonna use either because of the fact that it's not like a new new item so i went and got sand beige which is number six i decided just to do it all the same brand okay another thing about these items these little primers i wanted to try it out this one has if i look in the light this one has like this this much primer in it. so that's not that bad okay this is air this is primer and this one mind you the other one has like this much this one has this much in it i brought the primer up to the light the white bottle and i was like i saw where there was just like this much product in it just this bottom part of the label don't spend ten dollars on this much primer don't my go-to primer is the primer that nikki tutorial got everybody on and it's the post shaving balm i love this stuff it smells good it smells like man some men not all men first thing i'm gonna use is the prom light strobing primer i look so evil like looking up at the camera like that like i'm gonna put this on me talk about evil you know what i want to go see i want to go see get out at first i was like against watching it because i was like I don't of the whole like from what I get from the previews it's like a modern day slavery it's by it's brainwashing and um red my face is getting so I was like I don't know if I want to watch it but everybody's been saying it's good and I want to go watch it tomorrow's five dollars five dollar Tuesday I think I'm gonna go in between my classes it does it has like um like a little shimmer in the formula that's how my face looks like it does look glowing but it's shimmer so let me see um i don't know about minimizing pores i don't have big pores but i do have a, like just like around here you know but I mean, I like the way it makes me glow. I feel like I should do my eyes just so I'm not wearing just foundation. So I'm going to quickly just do like a little eyeshadow or something. Just something simple. And so this is exactly why you do your eyes before you do your face. Because if I would have done my face and done this, like this video wouldn't have been made. I would have been like, Rrr! but okay, so I got my primer on. I'm going to put on my foundation i'm wearing number six and beige i think i should be all right 
Plus, it oxidizes uh, pretty dark. I feel like I need another coat. And then let me try this concealer. Hopefully I like it. People say it's not really full coverage. And I got ojeras. But I never had them this bad. But then, you know, you grow up, you become an adult, you get out of high school. And you get ojeras, you get gray hairs. Like, in the past... Since I turned 25, I already found like four or five ganas. And the way 2017 is going so far for me, like, I'm going to be broke on also by the end of the year. Hopefully things switch up. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this sponge. Uh, yeah, I ain't crazy about the sponge. Um, it's kind of hard. It's not like a soft sponge. It's not like the sponges on the Adri one concealer. This one's kind of like, this one's hard. all right it look wet and i mean dust because i ain't going nowhere but to walmart in a bit so i'm not about to bake and do all that extra stuff like i don't if i ain't gotta be extra i ain't gonna be extra i'm gonna use my maxalina techno cumbia contour i like it people be like man it's too dark it probably is too dark for me right now it went dark for me when i initially got it my dang baby hairs or sideburns those ain't even baby hairs those are sideburns let me get that not to get it confused or twisted this is Remix yard Joey Crack Dawn and J Lo Boogie Down Bronx, you know Boricua Even if you broke my love don't cost a thing 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 I never forget I wanted to be her so bad when I was a kid. Not much has changed. That little part on Love Don't Cost a Thing and she has her hair all braided up and whatnot. Well, I wanted to be here so bad, right? That I got my hair braided. I went from looking like this to like, like I couldn't even open my mouth. <laughs> like she, when she braided my hair, that shit hurt like hell. And I would, I ain't even tender headed, but it just hurt. And I was just like, uh, uh, I can't, I can't do this. I held on to it because I was like, I got them done like on a Saturday or a Friday, and I was like, my ass wearing them to school Monday. I'm wearing them to school, okay. Somebody was like, you look like Amanda Perez. I was going for J-Lo, but okay. I mean, she was fire at that time. I don't know if I'm going to use the concealer as like to highlight my nose. I think I will just for the purpose of this video. It's kind of like liquidy. It's not creamy. See, it's like sheer. I mean, I guess it's good for highlight because it like blends out to nothing. I like to cover dark circles. Como que no. So let's see, what highlight am I, I going to wear? I'll put some Fix Plus on the brush and do it. Oh, it looks nice.
I'm probably gonna brush a little powder on my face, just a little bit. I don't wanna walk around looking greasy. All right, and then I'm gonna spray the Make It Last. One thing I do like about it, I probably just overdid it. It's, I like that it kind of smells like hairspray, like fresh hair, like when somebody just washed their hair, that's what it smells like. Mm. Little tacky still, but it doesn't feel doesn't feel bad it's 2 40 i'm gonna go run to walmart go pick up some stuff just throw on these adidas wear a hat oh you know bad boys new york um i did not feel like wearing my tennis shoes i'm just gonna wear my little nike so i'm over here like with my adidas and my nike flip ups on whatever <laughs> Crawfish, but like crawfish is just like a long process to eat, and for me just to sit there and eat it by myself, like I don't mind eating by myself at all. But I just nah. So I think I'm gonna hit up um, this other spot. This is a bar restaurant, and they serve crawfish too. But I'm gonna go get their their fries. They're like steak fries with sauce on it, and um. They're really fucking good. And then I'm gonna get like the papas that they put in the crawfish sauce. I think I bit off more than I can chew. It's 8.20. Um, my face got greasy. I mean, as you can tell like right here, I mean, I think my face already kind of looked wet, but a little greasy. Uh, I don't feel like I have any, I don't know if you can see. I really don't have any makeup on my nose anymore. It's kind of like gone away. Like, and on the side of my cheeks, it's gone away. I don't know, because if I was like laying my hand like this while I was editing, but it transferred, it came like right off. Uh, I feel like overall my whole face kind of got like greasy and separated. Um, it's like at some, it looks okay, but if you look at my face close up, like the nose is missing, like the little creases, it's like greasy right here. I don't think the setting spray is like on and popping. It's, maybe I'll try it as a primer and see if it holds, but as a setting spray or at least for this combination like my face being oily no i mean the highlight is still on it didn't like disappear get eaten so i do like the highlight the highlights are good i mean you really can't go wrong with them so if you want to buy anything from the new line where you don't feel like you're gonna have that 50 50 chance you're gonna waste your money just buy the highlights um this is glowing 
This is Sun Glow, the one I'm wearing. And then this is Day Glow, Afterglow. The primer. I don't think it really took in the foundation. I don't like it. I think the primer is good for people who don't own the strawberry and cream from MAC and who have like flawless skin already and don't need to wear makeup. So they can just throw this on like for a little glow. That's the only thing I think it's good for. And the concealer, I would say skip. I don't like it. It's another one I kind of knew I wasn't gonna like. It all separated. It's like, there's nothing there. No to the concealer. That's my overall opinion about it. I mean, I have tried the foundation before, so this isn't like a first impressions on the foundation. I own darker summer shades in this foundation and I love this foundation. I just think it works so much better with my shaving balm. I'll try to make it dewy next time. Maybe when I do my clothing haul and kind of let y'all know if I'm wearing it. So that is my overall review, first impressions haul. Um, I don't think my makeup looks flawless anymore. Like it's all patchy and stuff, but Maybe that can help you figure out what you sh want to buy, what you don't want to buy. Hope you liked it and subscribe, like, um, but thank you for watching. Don't you do it to yourself, that's bad for your health. Don't fuck up your flow. Talk shit about me with your dusty ass weed, now you out of control. I'm trying to be out the way like everything, everything, and that's a fact. Got me on my head, man, shit like that, 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 that.